my next topic is adding and subtracting integers uh, there are four rules to adding and subtracting integers these rules are plus 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 minus plus minus plus minus minus and minus minus plus now take some examples minus 6 plus 4 read these numbers according to their sign it's minus 6 and plus 4 minus plus is minus so 6 minus 4 is 2 now the point is what is the sign of this number now we always put the sign of a greater number here 6 is a greater number and its sign is minus so the answer is also negative now take some other example this is first second example minus 4 minus 16 minus 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 is plus so 16 plus 4 is 20 and the sign of this number is 16 is greater number, its sign is negative, so the answer is also negative. Take some other examples. Plus 4, minus 6. Plus, plus, minus is minus. 6 minus 4 is 2. And 6 is greater number, its sign is negative, so the answer is also negative. Next example. Minus 16 plus 10. Minus plus is minus. 16 minus 10 is 6. 16 is greater number. Its sign is minus. So the answer is also negative. My next topic is properties of addition and subtraction of integers. And uh, first property, uh, closer under addition. For any two integer a and b, a plus b is an integer. If, if a equals to 3, and b equals to minus 2. 3 and minus 2 are integers. Then we find a plus b. a is 3 plus b is minus 2. 3 plus minus minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 is also an integer. Now you got it. If two, number, two, in, uh, if two numbers are integer, then their sum is also an integer. Now the second property, closer under subtraction. If a and b are integer, then a minus b is also an integer. If a is 6 and b is minus 4. 6 and minus 4 are integer, then we find a minus b. a is 6 minus, then b is minus 4. 6 minus minus plus 4. 6 plus 4, 10. 6 and minus 4 are integer. 10 is also an integer. Third property, commutative property. a plus b equals to b plus a. We know that 3 plus 5 is 8. And 5 plus 3 is also 8. That means the whole numbers can be added in any order. In the other word, Addition is commutative for whole numbers. Can we say that? Uh, can we say that? Can we say the same for integer also? Now that uh, now take two integers, a equals to five, and b equals to minus six. A plus b equals to five plus minus six. Five plus minus minus six. And plus minus is minus. 6 minus 5 is 1. And the 6 is greater number. Its sign is negative. So the answer is minus 1. Now we find B plus A. B is minus 6 plus 5. Minus plus minus. 6 minus 5 is 1. And 6 is greater number. Its sign is minus. So A plus B equals to B plus A a plus b and b plus a uh, so we can say that addition is commutative for integers it is first point now the second point is we know that subtraction is not uh, commutative for whole number is it commutative for integers let us consider uh, integers 5 and minus 3 now we find 
a minus b. 5 minus minus 3. 5 minus minus plus 3 is 8. Now we find b minus a. b is minus 3 minus 5. 3 minus 3 minus 5. Minus minus is plus 5. Um, uh, 5 plus 3 is 8. And 5 is greater number. Its sign is negative. So the answer is minus. 8 and minus 8 are not equal. So a minus b is not equal to b minus a. We conclude that subtraction is not commutative for integers. Now take at least 5 different pairs of integers and check this. Next property is associative property. Consider an integer minus 3, minus 2 and minus 5. Look at minus 5, minus 3, plus minus 2 and minus 5 plus minus 3 plus minus 2 here in the first sum minus 3 and minus 2 are grouped together and in the second minus 5 and minus 3 are grouped together then solve it minus 5 according to the board mass firstly we solve the bracket minus 3 plus minus minus 2 minus 5 plus minus minus plus 3 and 2 is 5 and the sign is greater number negative so minus 5 plus minus is minus minus 5 minus 5 minus 5 minus 10 now solve this minus 5 plus minus minus 3 plus minus minus 2 now minus minus is plus 5 and 3 is 8 sign greater number minus 2 minus minus plus 8 plus 2 is 10 and sign greater number minus in both case we get the same answer minus 10 so in general we can say that a plus b plus c is equals to a plus b plus c this is the associative property now take one more example a is minus 6 b is 3 c is minus 2 now solve the left side a is minus 6 plus b 3 plus minus 2 solve this part 3 plus minus minus 2 and minus 6 plus 1 3 minus 2 1 minus plus minus 6 minus 1 is 5 and greater number 6 is sign is negative now solve the right side a plus b plus c a is minus 6 plus b is 3 plus minus 2 minus plus minus 6 minus 3 is 3 and greater number 6 is sign is minus plus minus minus 2 minus minus plus 3 plus 2 is 5 negative we get the same answer so addition is associative for integer it means hum integer ko kisi bhi order mein plus kare to hamara answer same aata hai सबसे पहले हमने ये दो इंटीजर को minus three और minus two को plus किया और उसके साथ हमने minus five को plus किया और दूसरे में हमने ग्रुप को चेंज किया पहले हमने minus three और minus five को plus किया और उसके साथ हमने minus two को plus किया तब भी हमारा आंसर minus ten ही आया it means हम numbers को आगे पीछे करके या numbers को change करके किसी भी order में हम change करें तो हमारा आंसर same ही आता है next property is additive identity when we add zero to any whole number we get the same whole number 0 is an additive identity for whole numbers is it an additive identity again for integer also take some examples minus 8 plus 0 is minus 8 and 0 plus 
माइनस फोर्टी थ्री इस माइनस फोर्टी थ्री अगर हम जीरो को किसी नंबर में प्लस करते हैं तब भी सेम नंबर आता है और अगर हम जीरो में कोई नंबर प्लस करते हैं तब भी सेम नंबर आता है इट मीन्स एग्जाम्पल सो दैट जीरो इज एन एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी फॉर इंटीजर्स इन जनरल इन जनरल फॉर एनी इंटीजर ए फॉर एनी इंटीजर ए ए प्लस जीरो इक्व टू ए एंड जीरो प्लस ए इक्व टू ए इट मीन्स अगर हम ए कोई भी एक इंटीजर है कोई भी इंटीजर हो सकता है अगर उस इंटीजर में हम जीरो प्लस करें तब भी इंटीजर ही आएगा और अगर जीरो में कोई नंबर कोई इंटीजर प्लस करें तब भी वही इंटीजर ही आता है